Hey guys, this is going to be another quick Linux command video. Check the link in the description for more info and for copy and paste examples. The Linux TR command can be used to translate characters. So you can swap any instance of A for B. So let, let's, let's show you this, this first example. Echo, let's say if you wanted to echo test ABC, uh, and you, you could echo that out like that. Now you could pipe that into the TR command and say A, B. Now anywhere it finds the letter A, it's going to replace it with a B. So instead of A, B, C, you have B, B, C, right? So now you, you could do um, a similar thing. You could say, uh, you could say E, S, X, Y. So anytime it finds the letter E, it's going to replace it with an X. Anytime it finds an S, it replaces it with a Y. Right, so uh, try that out, and you have uh, you change test ABC to T X Y T ABC. Now, um, basically, it's swapping. Um, yeah, <clears throat> it will swap a character in one set for the corresponding character in the second set. So, for let, let's see, uh, well, you can also delete any character in a set. So, for example, do it doing. Um, let's say if you had tests, and you wanted to pipe this to tr, and you could say dash d, and say es, est, right? Any, this isn't just going to remove um, the letter, this isn't just going to remove this combination, it's not like it just grabs est and removes that, that string there, it's going to remove any, any e in the whole string, any s in the whole string, and any t in the whole string, like this. So it only gives you a t, right? So it not only deleted this s, but also this one too. So that would do the same thing if you had like E, 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 and it just wipes all of those out for you. So um, you can use it to delete things. Now you can also compress identical consecutive characters. So for example, for that previous thing there, you could say instead of a D to delete, you could say S to compress. So anytime it finds the letter E, it's gonna compress it if, if it's identical. Um, yeah, so identical consecutive characters. So boom. So this E was not consecutive, so it's saved, but these three E's here got all compressed into one E. So that, that was another thing you can do with this. Now, um, let's see what else here. Um, you can also do things like change lowercase to uppercase. So there are a bunch of um, different options you can use to translate one thing to another. So let's see here, you can say, you can say quote, and you, you can say lower, colon like this, and then you can say same thing, upper, and this will change anything that's lowercase. Any lowercase character it finds is gonna be changed to uppercase, right? So boom, everything's made uppercase. Now, there are a bunch of options. Now, check the link in the description. Um, there are a ton of different options you can use instead of lower and upper. There, there are a ton of others, like you can do um, alphanumeric or alpha, you can do um, control characters, digits, um, you, you can do a wh whole bunch of other things. So um, yeah, definitely check the link in the description for a bigger a table of all the different things you can use to translate. And um, yeah, that's that's the basic usage and everything I wanted to cover. Um, if you want a reference or more to look at, you can check the man page or also check the link in the description to the table that I have in the document with these examples you can copy and paste. And that table also contains all of these different patterns you can use to translate things like lower and upper and all the other different variations that also exist. So, and that's about it for the TR command. Remember, check the links in the description for more info. Hit the subscribe button for more useful content like this. We also have a ton of other more interesting content covering things like coding, hardware, software, servers, Raspberry Pis, 3D printing, and a whole lot more. Hopefully you found this useful. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys on that next video.